Hey guys, it's update time. Um, okay, so let's see. Yesterday was September 11th, and I actually, it was my first day venturing out in Strasbourg by myself. I know, I know, it only took me 40 days being over here to finally feel comfortable doing this. Um, Tawan gave me a map, and I headed out to explore. And I know, shocking part coming up right now, I did not get lost. You know, there's some doubters out there, but I actually did very well for myself. And on the way back, I didn't even look at the map once, because I'm just that skilled. Just using my eyes and my brain, which I guess worked because I made it back here alive. So, yeah. So that was exciting. I um, looked in a lot of different like little bookstores and um, they had like an outdoor book market at a very small, um, very small selection of e books in English. Like they probably had like 30 or something. But in those 30 books, I did find something. I got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So yeah, I've been talking to Mary about how I wanted to get the, um, British version of the Harry Potter books but like they're really expensive so like if you buy them online or if you get them new so I was happy to find this one for only 50 cents 50 euro cents but still still a very good deal and it's in pretty good condition so very exciting excited about that you can tell because it's not the Sorcerer's Stone like it is in America so yeah I'm excited about that um, let's see. Oh, I looked in, I found like different little toy shops and like a costume shop and different stuff and just peeked my head in and yeah, everything worked out well. I had a really good time with myself, even though it was, did start raining a little bit on my way back. And, um, yeah, so it's been a little rainy for the past few days and it's been cold. Um, so yeah, when it starts raining and like today I, well, Okay, yesterday I had an umbrella, but I still did this. But today I didn't, and walking back, this is usually how I um I handle it. Ah. Yeah, got my little hood up. Look like a like a little hoodlum, little bit of a bit of a thug thing going. You know, I have now become the type of person that um, mothers you know cling to their children when I pass, and people tend to walk on the other side of the street. So, um, yeah. But yeah, this is this is my new look. This is my European look. Um, because you can't, well, I guess you did, you can't tell, but like I'm wearing black pants too. So I'm, I'm all in black and I'm wearing this hood. So I look pretty, pretty darn intimidating. You would, you would hide your children too. Yeah, it's a whole, whole new effect, huh? Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm gonna stop saying yeah. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> so, uh, oh, Mary made a cheesecake last night, a uh, cinnamon cheesecake to be more specific. And um, yeah, she uh, made a little one and then she made a bigger one and she brought it into the lab today and people were able to try it. Um, the ingredients over here, like even though you buy, like you think you're buying the right ingredients or like the same ingredients, it always turns out a little bit different because their stuff's like a little bit different so I still thought it was good and everyone else seemed to you know enjoy it some some found it a little bit a bit odd the texture was a little bit different with the little inside cream cheesy part but you know say la vie what can you do but yeah so um while we've been over here Mary's become quite the little chef she pretty much um makes dinner every night and like we go to the supermarket, come up. Well, she usually comes up with an idea. We go to the supermarket, get them, and then we go and we fix them. And um, so it's basically Mary and Tomal switching off between chef and sous chef. And then me, I'm just I'm just part of the kitchen staff. Usually I'm I'm chopping onions. So I become I become actually pretty pretty good at chopping onions. You now I can get some really fine dices. Yeah, that's right. Um, let's see, we are almost, almost caught up with Big Brother, from last night we're about four episodes behind, 
because we didn't watch one last night. We were down to three, but then, of course, it comes on Wednesdays and Thursdays, so we got behind again because another episode came. But we are trying to get caught up before our parents get here, or before you guys get here, mother and father, because I know you watch these too. Um, yeah, so we're trying to get ca caught up so we can all like watch the finale together. Um, yeah, so I am super excited that my parents are getting here. Mom and Dad, I'm excited for you guys getting here. I don't really know how to do this without, you know, trying to, I'm talking to you, but it's still I'm like they and parents instead of mumsy and father and anyway I'm excited that um, you guys are coming I'm just gonna do it this way Excited you guys are coming um, yeah I didn't realize it's getting so close you guys are almost here the Garner family in Europe yeah gonna um, yeah this is our adventurous Garner thing we're not like the Mulpies we don't jump out of planes well three of three of our family would not jump out of a plane I would but anyway, this is exciting time though. I can take lots of pictures and videos and we're doing the Oktoberfest and Munich and Nürnberg, that really famous castle that starts with an N in Germany. That's where we're going. And we're going to Paris and we're going to walk around Strasbourg, La Petite France. And yeah, it's going to be really exciting and really fun and I'm super excited because I've been missing them a lot since I've been here. Um, let's see. Ah, I know I have other things to say, but I can't think of them. Um, all right, let's see. We're going to take a little pause. If I think of something else, I'll add it onto this video. If not, the video will be ending now.